Greetings and salutations to all, as we return to the Coin Series channel. So, let's chat about XRP. I hope today is going well for everyone, no matter where you are in this gray planet. This is the one-day chart, as before. Currently, we are at a little over 54.5 cents. People are claiming that the last fall is the last dip and that we will continue to rise from here, now that we have risen a penny. Some are arguing that we should not take off until we have pulled back to below 40 cents. This is my perspective on it. Some P-dips are so good that I'll be buying more of them, if the price of XRP keeps going higher from here. Great. We're going to become filthy rich soon. It makes no difference how you slice it. When the next run occurs and what happens next are the important questions. Oh, look at those XRP haters. With 100 billion coins in circulation and the price still below $1, how quaint. What kind of people are going to make use of it? Despite the hefty fees and congestion, banks will use Bitcoin's turtle technology. Maintain a 5-minute hold. It failed to set a new record high when you consider the price. You seem perplexed by my strong XRP bullishness. I really believe that we will quickly surpass that prior all-time high in the following run. You have to understand that you're holding a cryptocurrency, a world's bridge currency, a cryptocurrency that can be used as a trust layer when sending money back and forth between countries. A lot of people don't realize that 100 billion XRP may not be enough in the future. Additionally, XRP will be held in custody by large financial institutions and banks. If there is any remaining supply on the open market, you may have to hold off on purchasing XRP until someone sells some. Moreover, prior cycles are not utility-based since they always refer back to market capitalization. What occurs during an XRP utility run? No one is aware. It might be around for quite a while, you know. XRP has the potential to reach extremely high values. Or perhaps XRP will experience a slow but steady ascent. Everyone is still guessing and acting like a retail investor, so no one knows for sure just yet. If you believe those who claim XRP can never hit $10 or more due to the fact that $1 trillion is the market value of 100 billion XRP, then you would be completely wrong. Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Nvidia, Meta, and Bitcoin are among the corporations that have already reached the trillion-dollar threshold. By itself, I believe that tokenization and cross-border payments will propel XRP's market cap into the multi-trillion-dollar range. This is a Faro X33 issue that affects the majority of cryptocurrency investors. Is that they are now hoping for a market crash, they are seeking that quick buck. Other coins are being pumped by them. Sure, they'll make money if they follow the trend, but they don't realize they're limiting their potential returns in the process. However, the best strategy is to defer gratification. The majority of people are clueless and continually seeking instant gratification, which is another indicator of greed. I think most of us have been there. Some people get beyond that stage. Some remain there indefinitely. Slow money doesn't bother me. Changing things up is fine with me. As long as prices stay inside a certain range, I'll be content to accumulate. I can patiently wait out my term. At this very moment, that is happening. So many people are furious about the XRP price because they were led to believe, either through videos or word of mouth, that crypto is the way to go if they want to get rich fast. Then they come here and realize, oh my, they weren't led astray. Allow me to become enraged and begin venting my frustrations in every corner of X. When you have XRP, LM or DC on hand, you know what I'm talking about. While using HBAR, Casper, and Nexera, and when I bring up Nexera, it was once an LBT. Alliance block. The new financial system that these cryptocurrencies are a part of is still in the process of developing and expanding. That, too, requires time. The process takes time. You were always an early adopter of cryptocurrency, but when the last piece falls into place and the switch flips, the market will move at a dizzying rate, and everyone will be desperate to get in before the price drops any more. But I feel like you're entering the next stage now, you're not as young anymore. All of that, in my opinion, will change in 2024. 
I can't stress enough how important it is to get into cryptocurrency today if you're looking to diversify your portfolio away from the US dollar and inflation and into something that can actually generate wealth. If you do it today, you won't have to wait nearly as long as the rest of us. Our average tenure here is 5 years or more. Some of these folks have been here since the beginning. Consider it in that light. You can't afford to make any naive decisions in the cryptocurrency market, therefore patience is key. Quick, take your money out of that and put it here, this is pumping. Return to this at a later time if you so desire. There are cases where it is not the case. Also, some people did become filthy rich with cryptocurrency. On the other hand, they were fortunate. The wait will be shorter now, which is fantastic. Imagine, though, if you didn't invest at all, and XRP or another cryptocurrency eventually hit three or four figures in value. Oh, XRP is right in the middle. Swift transforms into Ripple looking, and the process is as easy as pie, just six stages from sender to receiver. I stated that this is what the people desire for that reason. Additionally, when it comes to financial transactions, they desire immediate satisfaction. Quick and easy payments. Swift has lost all appeal. Nobody liked dealing with companies that make them wait days for their money to arrive. And that's why I've always said that the company that Ripple would pilfer from Swift is capable of sending us three figures all by itself. The Swiss financial institution is merging its two platforms, Ripple and Swift, into a single one beginning in 2020. This has been going on for a long time, even before 2020, and Ripple has many partners inside Swift who are prepared. Ripple and XRP have a lot of pre-established rails. Everything will happen as soon as it does. There are ripples already inside of there, and people don't realize that Swift will always prefer to deal with this instead or that. And I hit is exactly what I say. I want you to know that it has actually occurred, so I'm emphasizing it. The station is no longer served by the train. Ripples is a technology partner for a number of digital currency projects run by central banks as part of its cooperation with the Digital Euro Association. To showcase its skills and CBDC advancements, Ripple was chosen as the technology partner for the Digital Lorry Pilot Project at the National Bank of Georgia. No one should be surprised that RippleNet and XRP will be used by the Digital Euro. This technology is something that Christine Lagarde finds really delightful. However, that will occur rapidly once we observe other nations making preparations to go live. When this happens, people keep thinking about how many years have passed, when in reality, only months have passed. That's my perspective. And when XRP starts making its way inside, they'll be using RippleNet every day. Then you would have missed the boat on this coin. Other projects adopting XRP is good for XRP, according to Ripple's CTO, because it boosts demand. Instead of releasing its own token, a project that uses XRP as a token is beneficial for XRP since it enhances its demand and utility. This is the point he is trying to make. It's hardly dissimilar to a new listing on an exchange or a store taking a token as payment. According to David Schwartz, more and more projects will join the XRP ledger, which will be great for XRP if those projects decide to use XRP exclusively rather than develop their own currency. Many businesses are already doing that, too. In my opinion, that path will be taken by many more in the years to come. Why was the money dubbed RP Ripples, which is not issued by any country, David Schwartz answers. Since no nation has ever issued XRP, the first letter of the code must be X, and no country code beginning with X will ever be issued. The currency code for gold, for instance, is XAU, since the molecular symbol for gold is AU. Due to the fact that no nation has issued them, all of these X coins will be put to use. It's as if they have their own identity. When discussing XRP, XLM, and XDC, it is clearly clear that any nation can use these coins. But XRP, it's not like any country at all. And that is also a major factor, for the simple reason that no nation wants its currency to compete with the US dollar. On the other hand, if you claim that this technology can manipulate the US dollar, then people will embrace it. When you immediately state that this will compete with this money and that currency, no one will want to use it. 
For the same reason, some nations are decoupling from the US dollar at the moment. However, things will change drastically in the future when more and more money is transferred digitally. I predict that in the near future, currencies all across the globe will be backed by gold. As a result, XRP must affect the value of these currencies. Because of this, it must not be inexpensive, Dre is a famous Bitcoin miner, and we invite you to follow us. I see my error, that clarifies why a concerted assault on Bitcoin by the government is now impossible. But that's not true. You believe the National Security Agency or the Chinese government would have a hard time launching a 51% attack on Bitcoin? All it takes is money, according to David Schwartz. Plus, they can offset part of those expenses by shorting Bitcoin. People that are involved with Bitcoin tend to think that it is impervious and unseen, but that's not the case. On top of that, it can be attacked simultaneously. Still, they managed to sell the story that the United States would adopt Bitcoin as its official currency. It's the same old story they constantly tell. It will never happen that way. But XRP or something like will be acceptable to the United States. I aim to clarify that point in this video. The question of why China would wish to utilize US currency keeps popping up. Well, XRP isn't a US money, thus they aren't using it. On top of that, I don't consider Ripple to be a US corporation. It so happens that San Francisco is home to one of its branches. They have grown into a multinational corporation. Plus, XRP will be used by these nations, including China and Russia. Why? Because, in terms of its intended application, it is the best cryptocurrency currently available. The public has not yet grasped the concept that it facilitates the transfer of funds across nations. That is why I mentioned that 100 billion XRP could not be sufficient, especially when you have a worldwide bridge currency in your possession. I see individuals on X every day who have given up on XRP, therefore I feel the need to reinforce this. I was mistaken with XRP. Part with your XRP. This is your chance to run and jump into anything you like, just do it. However, are you aware of the outcome? You will be rushing back to this site to make a substantially larger purchase when XRP's value finally starts to rise. The fact that even Bitcoin Maxis is beginning to see XRP's potential is reason enough for me to spread the word. Their original storyline for XRP is beginning to shift. They are involved in the XRP investment market. Next, let's discuss XRP. Now, because I believe they are coming to the realization that XRP will be more valuable than the beta test coin. But till then, keep your optimism and patience, and let's amass wealth together. Alright, I'll end this video now. Please know how much I value each and every one of you who took the time to watch this and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Do yourself a favor and hit that like button on my video. Farewell for now.